I have another theory. Guys that have thicker necks typically are gonna have higher free testosterone. As a man, your upper chest, shoulders, traps have a high density of androgen receptors. So when you have more testosterone, those androgen receptors soak up that testosterone and they can use it for muscle growth. So if you have higher testosterone, you're naturally gonna have a thicker neck. And a thicker neck is more helpful in combat. If you have a skinny neck, it's easier to get ragdolled around, you're easier to get knocked out. So if you have a thicker neck naturally, you probably have higher free testosterone. Now, an extreme example of this is looking at someone like Mike Tyson who he trained his neck religiously, but he had like a 20 inch neck when he was in his prime. A 20 inch neck. The average man has like a 14, 15 inch neck and that's with some more body fat. Uh, my neck's around 16 and a half inches lean. Um, when I've trained it a lot, I got it to 17, but you don't wanna get your neck too big, otherwise it's not good for breathing at night. It can cause sleep apnea if your neck's just even too, even if it's muscle, it's too big, it's not ideal. If you have a thicker neck, that is a sign, I think, that you have higher free testosterone. So do you have a skinny neck? Do you have a thicker neck? And one of the things I teach in my program is actually to train your neck. When you train your left neck, you look more powerful. Some guys that have built up like their shoulders and chest, but they have a skinny neck, something looks off, you look at them, you're like, they don't seem that powerful you actually look like you are 10 pounds bigger when your neck is thicker. I've seen some of the guys follow my advice and literally add two inches to the neck and they look way more jacked. They actually look more masculine and more attractive when your neck is thicker. A good example of this also is Channing Tatum. But when someone has a skinnier neck, it just, they look weaker.